challenge. Uh, this one's a level eight. We're doing it in JavaScript. It's called Pythagorean Triple. Uh, as always, there's a link to the challenge in the show notes. Try it out, and then you've always got the video to fall back on if you get stuck. Um, if you're trying to get better at JavaScript, subscribe to the channel. I post new content all the time to help you get better. Uh, so you're always notified uh, whenever new stuff is up. So with that, uh, given an array of three non-negative integers, uh, A, B, and C, we're determined if they perform a Pythagorean triple. Uh, a Pythagorean triple is formed when C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Okay, so we have our three integers. Um, they're going to come... Uh, okay, so we're going to return a 1 if a, b, and c perform a Pythagorean triple, and 0 if they don't. Okay. Um, so the interesting thing here is uh, you're given an array of integers, and I don't know if they need to be in a specific order. It looks like they kind of are, so it looks like the hypotenuse is going to be the bigger number there. Okay, so we have three integers. Uh, this is a cool way to unpack those into variables. Uh, so we can do const a, b, c is equal to the integers. So we just took an array of three things and turned them into three variables. Um, so we're going to return, okay, is uh, c squared, so math.pow. So this is how we do uh, uh, squaring in JavaScript. You take something and we're raising it to the second power. Uh, is this equal to math.pow a2 plus math.pow b2? Okay, so the 2 here, that's what we're raising the power. That's the power we're raising things to, so we're squaring them all. Uh, so let's see if this, these are equal. Let's test this out. Now, this could get interesting. Uh, the, the initial test pass, there's only two of them. Uh, but my hunch is that if they mix the order up, we're going to have to come back and sort these. Um, so let's see if we got a gotcha there. Okay, so they did uh, they did throw us for a loop there. It looks like a few of them. 72, 78, 30. Yeah, so they got them out of order. C is kind of crammed in the middle there. Okay, so what we're going to do then is we need to sort the integers. Okay, now this is going to be weird. Uh, so when you sort integers in JavaScript, uh, if I have an array of stuff, I can call sort here. Um, and it, it works in this case, but sometimes if you have, let's say, 1, 2, and 10, for example, and you call sort on that, look what you get back. So it's almost like they're sorting it in like an ASCII type order uh, or something like that. So it's it's weird how they, how they sort. So whenever you're doing sort in JavaScript, uh, we, we can take a function uh, that takes the two values. And uh, what we want to do is return a negative number uh, if one number is smaller than the other. Uh, so this is kind of weird. Uh, I've just kind of made this uh, a creature of habit. So I write a function, and I'm just looking to see if this number is smaller than uh, that number. And if it is, um, it, it'll return true here. Another way you can do this is subtract. Uh, so if you get a negative number out of that result, this, this that means this number was smaller, um, and it'll sort them uh, accordingly. So uh, it's weird in JavaScript, but you've always got to put this function in when you're sorting numbers. Um, so you want it to compare two numbers, and if this number is bigger than this number, then that returns a positive value. Uh, so for example, let's say we're sorting the 10 and the 1. Uh, 10 is bigger than 1, so that would result in a positive number, uh, and that would sort accordingly. Um, so with that, um, let's do, uh, let's look at integers. I can't remember if it's, uh, oh, uh, let's do, let's say I have these 10 numbers. Okay, 10 to uh, numbers is equal to this. I'm trying to see if the sort was in place. Uh, so if I do numbers.sort, take my function a, b, a minus b, uh, and if I look at numbers again, okay, so it's a permanent sort. Uh, it'll do it in place. So it was 1, 10, 2, now it's uh, 1, 2, 10. Okay, so up here we'll do uh, integers sort 
There's my function, a minus b. Okay, so now that they're sorted, now we're always going to get c as the hypotenuse. Um, so let's attempt that submission. Okay, now they're all working. Great job, y'all.